Well, good day, pilots. Welcome back to uh, High Flying Friday, I guess we'll call it. So we're just going to go and uh, do a little check on the neighbors over here just to see what's been going on there. are going to be building houses here, which really sucks, but uh, they've been out clearing trees, and I've heard chainsaws and chippers. Well, yeah, there's a chipper there. Okay. Looks like someone's bringing in some trees. Looks like cedar tree. Oh, that'll be fun going through that thing. Cedars don't really like to go through chippers too well because they're so springy. But, uh, wow, they've cleared out a whole pile here. This used to be all the buckthorns and stuff where that, uh, well, that guy was camping in around here somewhere. The guy that was throwing the axe at us that one day or trying to. So, looks like another big pile of stuff here, too. So, that's interesting. Just kind of leaving all the chips there, I guess. Not really. That'll let them rot down, I guess. A couple of piles of logs here, too, I guess. There's a test well right there. So, eventually, they're going to, uh, be building houses in here. Fairly decent lots, I guess, in their pile of logs. And there's an old barn foundation there, too, I guess, from the old farm that was here at one time. So, ooh, that video's really kind of tearing a little bit. I guess maybe because it was 4K, it, it uh, doesn't uh, stay too nice. But, anywho, I don't know why they haven't touched these trees yet. Oh, here, I guess they're working on a little bit at a time. But, man, I, I don't know why they haven't brought the big machines in and just started going at it, you know? Because they're gonna tear stumps out here, anyways. But some cedar logs there. It looks like they're gonna make probably posts out of those. It looks like a little pile of stuff. Yeah, this is all those stupid buckthorns. They're terrible to work with. They got little sharp, spiky things on them and stuff. And uh, spying them. Oh, look, sees me. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> looks like a little 10,000 or 1,000 series uh, tractor too for that thing's little small, but I guess it's working. But, uh, yeah, so they got all these test wells all out here, too, where they have um, tested the water. So there's a couple here. There's one here. I'm just going to look at this with my thing here. And there's one, I think, there. I think there's one over here somewhere, too. So I don't know if that's the official well site for these houses that are coming in here, but... Um, they had to do some testing to see what the water was like, and I know they come up with a lot of salt in them, so that's not a good thing. So somehow they're going to have to treat the water. Um, desalination units are very expensive. But, uh, yeah, there's another... That's a tree. That's a tree. I'm sure there was some more wells over here somewhere that they've tested water in. And we get our water just behind the building over there, so... We seem to get pretty good water there for some reason, but yeah, there's one right there too. It looks like a test well. I don't know why they haven't taken that tree out though. Maybe they're saving that one. I could go over and probably see if I can get some of these logs, but uh, I don't really need them. To be honest, I'll be all right without them. So they probably got a use for them anyways if they're stacking them up like that. I'm sure they maybe got their own sawmill or something. But, uh, yeah, they cleared all these buckthorns out of here. This is kind of where the guy was camping in here somewhere. But, yeah, they're chipping up piles of stuff. It looks like spreading it out real good, so that's good. Some more cedars there. Well, let's take a little flight around here and just uh, show you. It's a pretty winter out here. This is uh, March the 21st, 2023. Still pretty wintry. But, anyways, the lake still got some pretty good layer of ice on it. And, uh, still got a fair bit of snow laying at our place here, too. And there's the old garage, if you guys remember the old videos in the old garage. We still got her there. Still got her. It's so way up here. Well, let's just do a fly up high here and have a look and see. Well, they've cleared a fair bit. They've been working for quite a while, but really there's a lot. It's just sort of been concentrating kind of in this area. But uh, why they haven't brought in all the uh, big equipment yet to do all this, I don't know. 
We used to have trails that went all down through here, and I think that's the one trail coming out, and this kind of went all the way in the back. It was uh, quite a trail system, but we got all these people walking back here now, like on these trails that they've put in, walking trails. So we don't generally use it anymore, but uh, we haven't been back there for years. But if you look back on the channel, I'm sure there's a couple of videos of us, you know, riding back there and on the ATVs and stuff. It was fun, so... I think this is originally officially supposed to come in here as the road and there's gonna be houses on each side kind of thing and it's gonna kind of cul-de-sac down and around by us there and then it's not gonna be like a through road it'll be like a cul-de-sac thing so but uh, this is a new hotel they're putting in why we need another one I don't know but uh, anyways I guess we do and these all these houses here were jammed in there about oh, 10 15 years ago maybe something like that used to be all empty fields just like this one I don't know why they haven't built on that one yet but uh, these are car dealerships here this is uh, Cadillac and Chevrolet we have a GMC on the other side of town right below us is the Nissan and then over to the left more will be the uh, uh, Volkswagen dealership that's where they are that's the Volkswagen there And let's take a little flight over here. I got uh, in here a fair little bit. I actually lost signal with the remote, uh, like with the uh, aircraft. And I don't know why, because it's supposed to have like a seven kilometer range. And it's like way less than that. So I don't know what was going on there. But uh, anyways, this here is our original mall, which is all small mall stores now, or independent stores, I guess we'll say. There's a big tire place here. Uh, this is Canadian Tire here, um, Walmart of course here, this Galaxy you see coming up too, that's a uh, movie theater, it's a really expensive movie theater. So we got Canadian Tire, Walmart, Dollarama, so we got a Dollarama here, and then way over here is another Dollarama. <laughs> Don't ask me guys, I have no idea why store it's the exact same like right in the same area basically so Home Depot here that's the theater there movie theater uh, Mark's is a uh, clothing store and uh, home hardware so we've got Home Depot here home hardware right there this is a big grocery store here huge grocery store really expensive grocery store that's the other dollar and same dollar store right there I think I got over about here somewhere, and all of a sudden it uh, lost connectivity with the aircraft. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that too much. So I'm like, uh, yeah, there's the home hardware. So it um, wanted to return to home on its own there, and it uh, kind of sort of did, and then uh, I think it was about here somewhere. It started freaking out, and I'm like, uh, Okay, return to home, but then it starts going and looking the wrong way. I can see it on the map which way it was facing from me, right? So, yeah, here it's like that's itself doing it. And I'm like, uh, which way are you going? Uh, no, no, that's the wrong way. So I took over control again and tried to look at the map and see which way I was facing and then brought it back home. But that's way, way shorter than it should be. I don't know why it's not getting me, uh, like I should be able to go across that town. No problem. Could be some interference or something in and around me or something that's, I don't know, I'm not right out in the open, open, but I'm not like, you know, right in the town either, right? So I'm like, pff, don't know. Don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, let's go back home. Take her back. There's a couple of restaurants here, Montana's. Uh, I want to call it Kelsey's. Eh, not the greatest, but Montana's is too, too bad. flying back with a bit of a headwind too, so we're doing probably 50 kilometers an hour, believe it or not here, it's not as fast as, it's faster than it looks, but anyways, we shall get back home here and land her back on the deck, so yeah, there's the old garage, if you remember the old garage videos working in there and stuff, and days gone past, that's for sure blue sky up there anyways see the John Deere 110 TLB parked down there just jumped in for lunch and I thought I'd take a little flight over and 
see what was happening. Still got lots of snow and crap out here, so I'm kind of stalling me on doing projects I want to do outside here because you know, I'd like to get his projects going outside here, but it'll be a while till all the snow's melted out again. But let's get our bearings here. We'll bring her back in. Don't hit the top of that tree, that would be bad. Remember, I'm laying on a little eight foot deck here, right? It's kind of kind of tight. Maybe it's a 10-foot deck. I can't remember. But anyways, there we go. Safe and sound back at home. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. You guys have a good day.